Hello everyone. So today we are going to be talking about another interesting problem. It's called as Armstrong number. So let us see the description. What it says. So given a number x, determine whether the number is Armstrong number or not. Okay. And what is Armstrong number? A positive number, a positive integer of n digits. Okay, is called as Armstrong number of order n. Okay, order is the number of digits. If a b c d, suppose that number is a b c d. then we can have power a with n okay power b with n and then we again uh, c power n okay then again d power n up, up to all the digits if we add them if we get the same number then it's armstrong number example can be a uh, 153 you can take example okay so if you just cube one cube because why because there are three digits okay three digits in this so 1 power 3 Okay, similar to this, plus five power three, plus three power three, and how it adds up to? This is one only. This is one twenty-five. This is twenty-seven. Okay, if we add them, twelve, one thirteen, then you have one, then it's up to five, and then one. It's one fifty-three, which is equals to LHS. So this is a example for Armstrong number. So let us try to write the code for this. So let, uh, now let us try to run, uh, write the code here. So first, what are you going to be making? We are making a variable. Okay. Let us take the example of one fifty three only starting only. Okay. Then what we are going to be creating? We'll be creating a temporary variable, and we'll be storing that number into that variable. Okay. Then we'll be creating another variable, which is temp sum. Okay. Temp sum initially it will be zero. And we'll be all doing all the operations and putting into the temp sum, and then we'll be comparing our temp sum with the number. Okay, so that is our task. Uh, then what we are going to be doing? We just want to find the total number of digits in the number. Okay, so how we'll be doing? We already have imported our into digits equals to. We have math in this, so you can see we have math. So We'll be writing int, and then we have math dot log ten of number. Okay, plus one. Okay, because how? Uh, if we take the log of four digit number, then it will be three point something. Correct. And if we take for uh, log of five number. Okay, five-digit number. It will be four point something. So we are adding four. We are taking the um, lower part. Okay, and we are adding to that. So it automatically takes the only the number digit part. Okay. So here this is done. Now what we are going to be doing? We are just going to be looping into the numbers. So while number is greater than zero. Okay. While number is greater than zero, then what we are going to be doing? We are going to be finding the remainder that we can easily find using this modulus ten. This is this is the last digit. Okay, modulus ten gives us a large digit, last digit, and we are going to be adding that into our temporary sum. Temporary sum equals to temp sum plus okay, whatever that will be there. So we'll be just type cast into this math dot power function. We are going to be using math dot Power function with the value of uh, with the value remainder power digits. Okay, so how many digits we have? Three, right? We already found that. So digits. Okay. Once we have done that, now we are going to be again dividing that number by ten. Number divided by ten. Okay, so this while loop will run all uh, every time. Okay, four times basically. In this case, it will be run three times: one for three, one for five, one for one. Okay, so it will do the, all the operations. Then we'll be having our values in this. Okay, our temp sum, temp sum will having the all the uh, latest value, but number will be uh, getting reduced. Right? It will be in in the ending it will be zero. So we'll be comparing with the temporary only. Okay. Temporary is remained still now. So if our temporary becomes equals to, okay, we have double equals to 
our temp sum then we can simply say it's a so i just want to print system dot out dot print ln okay it will be armstrong number okay in else condition we can say it is not an armstrong number so i'll just copy paste this okay not a armstrong number so let us try to run this code and see the output for 153 so there is one thing i think i need to save it and then run it i think there is some issue system dot out dot print ln armstrong number Yeah, the issue was that we need to get uh, double coated instead of single coat so it is working fine now okay so if we try another number 154 save it and run it it will be giving not armstrong number okay so this is the example for the armstrong number so that's it for this video